Hello everybody, this is Amin Parker. Today was a huge win for Microsoft and the Xbox brand. You know, that company need some type of victory in the video game industry if it's going to compete against Nintendo and Sony. Now, listen, I'm going to give a list of franchises that Microsoft now owns, now that they acquired successfully Activision, Blizzard, and King. So, Microsoft now owns the franchise called Blur. They own Caesar. They own Call of Duty, Candy Crush, Crash Bandicoot, Diablo, DJ Hero, Emperor Earth, Gabrielle Knight, Geometry Wars, Guitar Hero, Gun, Hearth Stone, Heroes of the Storm, Hexen, Interstate 76, King's Quest, Laura Bow, Mysteries, The Lost Vikings, Overwatch, Pitfall, Police Quest, Prototype, Quest for Glory, Skylanders, Soldiers of Fortune, Space Quest, Spiral the Dragon, Starcraft, Tenchu, Time Shift, Tony Hawk Pro Skater, True Crime, World of Warcraft, and Zork. Now, basically, not only did Microsoft get their hands on current Activision Blizzard franchises, but they now own the IPs that are defunct by defunct publishers like Syria once owned. This actually is important because Syria was a major publisher of mainly adventure games in the 1980s and the early 1990s. Oh, and this list does not cover the fact that Microsoft also owns Activision Blizzard's Atari 2600 games. And it does not cover the IPs that Activision Blizzard or other companies they acquired owns. It goes much deeper than this list. And between Activision Blizzard, Bethesda, Rare, and the other IPs that Microsoft already owns, Microsoft now has the largest backlog of games, franchises, and developers. Microsoft basically owns a large chunk of video game history that covers pretty much every single era of gaming. There is no other publisher on earth, even the major ones like EA, Nintendo, and Rockstar that comes anywhere close to the gaming riches that Microsoft now owns. Now, as a Nintendo fan, I have to say that although Microsoft now has more of a larger backlog than Nintendo at this point, Nintendo is still the most legendary, the most iconic publisher on earth. Their franchises spam all the way back to the very first generation. So Microsoft is getting a lot of accolades and that's good because they can actually compete now. And I'm fine with that. As a Nintendo fan, I'm fine with that. Because for a long time, only Sony was really able to stand toe-to-toe -to, -toe to some extent with the big N. And now Microsoft finds themselves on that same level playing field 
with the big N and the company with the letter S as its initial. Well, guys, I will say this is good for the industry. This is really very good for the video game industry. Now we have three console manufacturers who have a large wealth of franchises that they can pull from at any time in order to sell consoles. We may finally see a time where the Microsoft console wins the, the video game generation for a change. And like I said, I'm okay with that because it has never happened before. So I would like to see that happen at some point. And it's not going to hurt in any way Nintendo or Sony. It would make them better because now competition is here for both of those two companies. True competition. And competition makes companies better. This was and is I mean Parker and I'm out. Congratulations Xbox and its fans. Peace.